いただきますはいあチンいただきますハローエブリバディ、ワーカムバックトタビーイーツ、ディスイシュニチ。アミサトシ。トゥデイ、ウォーリビーカンバイン、ディフレーバーズ・オブ・ハワイ、ウィッド・ポータブル・ジャパニーズ・ミオ。ウィッグ・ナメク、テリヤキ・スパム・オニギラズ。レッツ・ゲット・スタート。トゥデイ、ウォーリビー・ユーシン・ハーフ・カン・スパム、トゥ・エッグ、サム・レッツ・リーブ、コック・ジャパニーズ・ライス、アン・トゥ・シーツ・オブ・ノリ。フォー・ザ・ソース、ウォーリー・ディ・テーブスプーン・イーチ・オブ・ソイ・ソース、ミディン・アン・シュガー。フォース、キャラ・ディ・レッツ・リーブ、ソディ・アン・トゥ・ビッグ。Then crack two eggs into a small bowl and give it a whisk. Set this to the side. Now open up the can of spam and cut four slices, saving the other half for something else. Now let's get cooking. Put some oil onto a frying pan and blot away the excess oil with a paper towel. Then pour half of the whisk egg onto the frying pan and swirl it around to make a very thin omelet. Once the edges are dry, fold it in towards the center, creating a square shaped omelet. Repeat with the rest of the egg mixture and set the omelet off to the side. Using the same frying pan, let's cook the spam. Usually, spam is greasy enough, so I'm not going to use any more oil, but if you need to, you can. Cook the spam slices until they are crispy on both sides. The crispiness will add a nice texture to the spam slices. And they just taste better that way. Once both sides are crispy, let's make the sauce. Combine the sugar with the mirin and soy sauce and mix until combined. Then pour this over the spam slices and continue cooking, turning the spam slices over so that they are nicely coated with the teriyaki sauce. Once the sauce has caramelized, take the slices out. And now it's time to assemble the onigirazu. Place a sheet of plastic wrap onto your work surface. Then put a sheet of nori on top. Get a small scoop of hot cooked rice and place it onto the center. Now be careful not to put too much rice. Then season with just a little bit of salt. The lettuce leaves go right on top. After that, the omelet. Then place two spam slices on top. Finally, just a little more rice. Once again, go easy on the fillings or else your onigirazu will become one big mess. Now grab the corners and bring them towards the center. Then tightly wrap with the plastic wrap. Place the nori seam signs down. Make one more onigirazu the same way and let them rest for about 10 minutes. Now it's time to cut the onigirazu. Make sure you're cutting across the spam slices so you do have to remember which side your spam is facing. The onigirazu will look much nicer this way. These onigirazu are perfect for a light lunch and great for picnics. Compared to typical rice balls, you can put so much more filling so it's much more substantial. It looks nice. Yes, it does. Hi, d o z o Yummy. That is your half. Here's my other half. Well, actually, we made two, so we、yummy. have two more pieces left over for later on. <laughs> so,、Ooh. shall we try this?、Uh, Itadakimasu. Hi. Right. Ah, chin. chin. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 As always, really, really good. This is this、mm. is like spam musubi、mm. with teriyaki sauce,、mm. but in onigirazu, we put the egg omelet and some lettuce for some crispiness into this. Heaven, pure heaven.、Mm. I love teriyaki spam. Me too, me too, so do I.、Mm. You know, if you guys are interested, we did make. A spam musubi with my mother. In case you haven't watched it, we have a spam musubi recipe as well as other variations on this onigirazu. Make sure you check out the videos right up there and let us know what your favorite type of onigirazu is. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you have any requests on what you guys like us to make next time, please, as always, leave it down in the comments down below. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and take care, guys. See you guys soon. Bye.